How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption. This is Contemption Gaming. Today we are going to talk about something very important. It's going to be a PSA for player service announcement. And I know that's not how it typically goes, but this video is very much needed. Even in our own kingdom, 1937, which is a bit older, people are still messing up, reinforcing garrisons and rallies. And we're going to talk about that today. Uh, some of you might notice the issue that is already with this march if I were going to reinforce a garrison or a rally If you don't know what it is, this video is definitely for you. So stick around check it out If you like these videos, please hit the like and subscribe. Let's get into it Okay, so let's go over exactly what I'm talking about. And this is for people who don't quite understand how to help during war. Now, we're going to have to pretend that some of these rallies... Oh, here's one perfectly. We'll add this. That some of these rallies are not barbed forts and we'll pretend they're rallies against flags or garrisons. What I'm going to do is send, obviously, the correct troop. I'm also going to make sure I send the fastest march if I'm just reinforcing. If I'm going to field fight, it's a different story, but we're not. We're just joining it. So the fastest march you choose is better. So that way on your walk home, your marches aren't being attacked by enemies. So faster, better. We're also going to send a second march out with obviously cav, cavalry. And we're going to use another fast march because this is just going to be reinforcing the rally. And if you're like, well, you're already in the rally, how can you reinforce it? Well, that we're going to go over. So I don't have enough T5 cavalry because a lot of them are in the hospital. We just had some fighting at the passes for Mightiest Governor. So that is why my hospital's full. And we are going to go... Good. So this isn't going to be full. Now, when my march is out and hitting the barbed fort, or if it were hitting a flag or a garrison, you can actually leave. So you don't need to just put your, your um, marches in a flag or a garrison or a rally and then say, okay, I'm done. I've done enough. That's it. You want to bring reinforcements close by and swap them out. So once these get to, I'm just going to do like 150,000 K, I'm going to jump out and I'm going to jump in with another march. And that will refresh the rally a bit. It'll help do more damage. It'll help take down the objective faster. And that's the goal in war. Obviously for barbed forts, it's, it's a little extreme, but we're just trying to show people how to properly reinforce. Uh, after we do this, we will go into... Uh, flags or uh, alliance fortresses which is something you're going to garrison a lot or even passes and we'll just go over the best way to reinforce that you really have to watch out for aoe damage area of effect and for your march times you don't want to be reinforcing something that's going to take more than 10 seconds to get there because somebody else is going to be closer who can reinforce that rally so let's wait for the barb fort to get here and we'll just go over reinforcing that Okay, the rally is here. Now, I have my troops positioned on the opposite side you want to reinforce a rally. So do not do it this way. You want your reinforcements always to come behind the rally because if this was a flag, then the commander had an area of an effect skill, you're gonna get hit before you get in that rally. So your best opportunity not to lose troops before you're even in the rally is to go straight behind it. So we're going to jump out of this quick because Antzilla is killing this thing really quickly. But as you can see, you can jump out. And then you can have your other march jump in. And of course, I'm going to waste some AP on this one. But that's the point is just to show you how to reinforce and how you can jump out and reload the rally or the flag or the garrison of an alliance fortress without having to wait for your troops to die or for the rally to refresh. You can jump out, you can jump in, keep the life of your rally high, the troop count as high as you possibly can to cap, and then you're gonna do more damage to the flag, taking it down faster, meaning you have less severely wounded or dead, mostly dead. So that's the flag, we pretended that was a flag. 
let's go into reinforcing structures. Now, just on the reinforcing the flag here, you want to be close. If you don't have field control, you still want to be as close as possible without putting your troops in risk of getting surrounded and zeroed. So if there was a bunch of cities around this of the enemy and they were jumping out attacking marches, obviously you're going to follow the rally with a whole bunch of marches in a wave and then reinforce as you can. If you're 10 seconds away and that's as close as you can get, that's okay. As long as you're not reinforcing from your city, that's like a minute and a half away. All you're doing is taking those spots away from players who are closer. So the rally automatically counts your 200,000 or 210,000 K troops into the rally. So people closer can't get into it. So all you're doing is actually hurting your alliance or your coalition or your kingdom by doing something like that. So you want to be close. You have to be close. That means you get attacked a little bit on the way there. So be it. At least when you jump in, you're not holding somebody else's spot. So let's go to garrisoning a flag or an alliance fortress next. All right, now let's talk about reinforcing flags. We can pretend this is either a flag or an alliance fortress or a pass, either way. Um, because it's close and we have castles here, it's a pretty good representation of what you're gonna find in the field. Obviously the other side will be a nice big wave of enemy armies. But what we would do here is not do this. We would not reinforce from this far away. All we're going to do by doing that is block people from getting into the flag. We're going to make them wait until we get there. Not the way to do things, especially if you have no field control, even around your cities. As soon as you try and send a march to the flag, it's going to get swarmed. You're going to get your hospital full. You're going to be out of battle in no time. So what you want to do is reinforce the structures. So cities, other flags, whatever it takes to get there. And you can just jump and you can jump faster than reinforcing the flag from your city by a straight walk. And then you can make it so that you get as close as you can to the flag without having to be a vulnerable for attack from enemies. So that is definitely how I suggest doing that. Now, what I see a lot of time is people reinforcing from way too far away. So as you can see, you can send more than one march to a flag. If, if that's what you need to do, then that's great. Um, you can plop in another march and then pull your other one back and refresh. But somebody reinforcing this flag, you'll see the reinforcement capacity is counting that march, even though they're not in the flag. So by leaving that march at a one minute walk time, you're preventing your alliance or coalition from having those troops in that flag, which means you're going to take more dead from the rallies or even swarms if you got some uh, crazy T5s. So definitely don't reinforce flags like that. Now, if this was a rally against the flag, the same thing with the barb fort applies. Make sure you're walking from behind into the rally, not head on trying to cross through the flag because you're going to get hit with area of effect, whether it's YSS or YSG. Somebody in there's probably casting area of effect skills. So you're just going to get a huge hospital bill and not really help your alliance at all. So really watch your walk times, jump through buildings, make sure you can do whatever you can to reduce the march time before you get into uh, a structure or your rally. So that's, that's all I've got. I really wanted to make this before our next war when level seven passes open. Uh, I think this is going to be shared around our kingdom and we just want to make sure we're going to get the least amount of dead for the most amount of dead against our enemy. So this should help. Hopefully people watch it. Hopefully people pay attention. If you have questions or suggestions, please oh, leave it in the comment below. Uh, like and subscribe to these videos. I got lots more coming. Thanks guys. Talk to you soon.